Hi, my name is Salim Hlayel, and I am the Principal Product Manager for the Oracle Application Express. In this video, I am going to show you how you can use build options to enable and disable functionalities easily. Build options can be used in three scenarios. The first scenario is to enable and disable functionalities during an installation. For example, if you have an SMTP configured on your server where you are deploying your application, you might want to enable the functionality for sending emails. The second scenario is hiding incomplete functionalities in various environments. So if you are working on some functionalities that are unfinished on the dev environment, you can assign a build option with a status exclude to disable them on the other environments. The third scenario is determining the consequences of removing a functionality. If you have a functionality and you are not sure if you remove it, it will cause issues then you can assign and exclude build option only to that functionality and see what would be the impact of removing it. If everything works fine, you can remove safely the functionality and the associated items. Otherwise, you can just remove the build option or change it to include. To create a build option, we will go to the application shared components, build options section, hit create button and give the build option a name. Let's select test for instance. There are two statuses for the build option. It could be either exclude or include. I can decide whether to have the default in export to be exclude or include. I can make it the same as the current status and I can also decide whether to have the same status being intact without change during the upgrade process. We'll go to a region, we did the configuration property, select the build option test and because the value is exclude, so the whole region will not be executed or shown. If I change the status to include and I apply, running the same page will enable now our region. To include the build option in my export, we'll have to go to supporting objects, build options, and select the build option that I would like to include in the export file. Let's export our application. Re-import it. We need to make sure that after we install the application, that we select install supporting objects. We hit next and then we will see our build option. We can decide whether to include or exclude that build option during the installation. In this video, you'll learn how to use build options, how to create one, assign it to a region, include it in supporting objects, export the whole application and making the build option available during the import process. Thank you for watching this video.